What's going on guys, the unknown player here and today in this video we're going to be once again going over some interesting topics that have come up recently and some general things I want to show you guys including the mystery of the secret portal inside the Pyramidian, a bunch of really underrated but amazing rare loot that you should definitely know about, some stuff about exotic perks and some other things as well. So firstly a super random but quick thing that I want to mention because I've been asked about this quite a lot mainly on Twitter and also in the comments of my videos but this is a very out of the way portal inside the Pyramidian so this is right before you jump down to that final boss fight. Normally of course you'd head down the pit to that lake that Asher goes crazy about but if you actually don't go down and walk around it and look behind you'll see a cool little grand entrance to this portal that's actually not in use. So a few of you guys have asked me about this, what it's for, if there's some sort of adventure that uses it and if there's a way to activate it. The simple answer right now is no, you cannot activate this, it doesn't have a purpose, no adventure or quest or thing uses this portal. The fact it's got this really elaborate path does make it seem very significant. I don't think Bungie would put this here for no reason by accident, but if it was some kind of broken up gate just to the side, I'd probably think nothing of it. But with it being hidden beyond the pit, with these cool pillars leading up to it, you do really get the sense that it's important and like something significant should be happening here. I could 100% see some kind of quest or mission in a DLC take you through here in this portal, maybe leads you somewhere else in the Pyramidian. Obviously the Pyramidian is massive, there's a lot to it, we still don't know yet. And it's the sort of thing we saw all the time back in Destiny 1 with areas being reused and repurposed with kind of different avenues. It also does tie into the story of Ashamir and the Pyramidian itself because they tell you in the dialogue that the Vex can in here inside the Pyramidian change reality and reconfigure the layout of the entire place. They've done it multiple times apparently and I've mentioned before when Asher failed his assault on the Pyramidian he came here and there was a lake not this pit that's why he goes crazy in the dialogue so it is most likely this thing we can see in the concept art with the water in the ceiling. Very crazy image but when we go of course it's a pit and it seems to be part of the Vex being able to reconfigure the Pyramidian. It's very reminiscent of the Vault of Glass, how in there they can mess with reality and even the portal was also reminiscent of the Vault of Glass, how there were deactivated portals around the place, some that we got to activate later with the Praedith quest. So I thought it was pretty interesting and random, just worth a mention of something that might come into play later on, especially with the Vex, anything is possible. So who knows, maybe it's a portal to Mercury, maybe it's nothing, but as always look forward to seeing your speculations down below in the comment section. So next up, I want to go through a bunch of actual rare loot, and I mean rare loot, that are some of the best items in the game. And there are a ton of hidden gems, stuff that you probably dismantle. I mean, going off Destiny 1, you probably dismantle a lot of this stuff on a regular basis. They're not that rare in terms of drop rates, but in terms of quality, obviously they're blue guns. So these weapons shouldn't in theory be that good. But there are a lot of weapons here that do have counterparts of legendary weapons, but some that don't and are actually unique. So there's definitely some hidden gems here that I want to let you guys know about. And like I said, I'm sure some of you dismantle these on a regular basis. But just so you know, these are some actual really good weapons, especially for Crucible, that you should not be dismantling. So firstly is a blue version of the Mida multi-tool. This is the Armillary Scout Rifle. This thing's got both quick draw and high cal. The scopes aren't the greatest, but this thing is in the precision frame, the same as the Nameless Midnight. So a very common archetype, not as fast as the Mida, but this thing is very precise. And the best thing about it is the handling. It just feels great. And of course, high cal is going to be very, very good in Crucible. Now, another weapon is the Cuboid Auto Rifle. This thing, for some reason, just feels so good. The handling is amazing. It's got a ton of range, you can see. This thing is also in the Precision Archetype, so the very common one. And especially for PvE activities, I've only used it for like one game in Crucible. It seems to do pretty well. Obviously, Auto Rifles are very good, but mainly for strikes, doing things like public events, this thing is amazing. The perks aren't fantastic, but the main thing, like I said, is the stability, the range, and also just the rate of fire. It just feels good. It's a very good handling weapon, and you can, of course, throw shaders and mods and this thing as well. So the next one is a hand cannon and this is actually a very very unique weapon I don't believe has a legendary counterpart. This is the azimuth and this one is actually in the aggressive frame meaning it's the highest impact but lowest rate of fire kind of hand cannon. This thing shoots really really slowly but it does a ton of damage. Now the reason this weapon is unique is because of this perk right here called kill clip. The same thing as reactive reload from Destiny 1. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage so think about the same thing as Rampage for example, you get a tiny boost in damage and it isn't a very long window, but in Crucible this thing can two shot, that's right, this thing can actually be a two shot kill, again that window of bonus damage isn't massively long in time, but if you can find a Warlock or a Hunter for example that runs medium to low armor, then you can two shot them to the head, so this thing is not very practical, obviously it's not one of the best weapons in Crucible, if you're running around normally you're not going to do very well, but for those rare situations you can actually get a two shot kill, this weapon is very unique. So the next one is going to be in the energy slot and this is a scout rifle. This is actually the rare counterpart to the Mananan scout rifle which is a very rare one from the gunsmith. It's got explosive rounds, it's an Omelon one and this is the same exact thing, copy and paste, a rare version but it doesn't have the second perk, steady rounds. So that is the only thing you're missing but otherwise the same lightweight frame, you've got the same scopes, 
Alloy Magazine and Explosive Payload. So if you can't manage to get the Mananan to drop for you, then maybe this thing could be the best shot. I'd say this is a bit more for PvE, but still definitely something not to underestimate. And then finally, we have the Heavy Weapon, and this is actually a sniper. I would say the best sniper in all of Crucible. A lot of people agree. This thing is amazing, and it is more or less the Longbow Synthesis from Destiny 1 inside Destiny 2 as a rare weapon. Again, I have no idea why there's no Legendary counterpart. I really wish there was, but this thing is an absolute monster. We have the Ambush Scope, one of the favorites from Destiny 1. Also Armor Piercing, which isn't that important. But the main thing is Snapshot, so fast aiming down sights. And this thing, again, is so, so good. It's also in the Adaptive Frame. So this, if you're looking for a good Crucible Sniper, this, I would say, is one of the best. And again, it's the reincarnation of the Longbow back in Destiny 2. And if you really want to look the same, you can actually put on the Vanguard Magna Shader, this rare one, and you can turn it blue. So it looks almost identical to the Longbow how it used to be. But there you go. Definitely one of the best Crucible Snipers in the game. And make sure you do not dismantle it. So next up, want to mention some more things found today by Spiffomatic64. I've covered a lot of things he's found recently inside the public database, but again, some are scrapped ideas and unused, and some things do get put into the game. It's always a 50-50, you never really know. But he found three unused perks, two of them tied to three exotics back in Destiny 1, strangely enough. So the first one is not bound by law, which you'd find on the bones of AO exotic boots. These gave hunters one more of any jump they had equipped. Probably the most used hunter exotic in the entire game. I always had them glued to my character. I do miss having the extra jump, but I don't miss always having to have them equipped. Although the Orpheus rig is basically the same. I pretty much can't use anything else on the Night Stalk in PvE. Now there's also this icon, which is actually used for two perks. The custom optics, which was absolute garbage, found on the exotic patience and time sniper, among a few other scout rifles. Now it also doubled up as being a perk called Target Mark on the Fang of Ear Ute from Crota, both exotic and legendary versions, so it'll put a green effect over enemies you shoot, wasn't very useful either. Now the third icon is simply a Crucible logo found in the Transmat effects, but the three of these perks are currently not assigned to anything inside Destiny 2, they do have potential to maybe be something in future gear. I would 100% guarantee we don't see the bones of air return, I don't see that happening at all, but maybe something else uses this perk instead. But something interesting to note nonetheless, I'll always keep you guys up to date anytime new stuff is added to the game. But there you go, a bit of a mixed bag of a couple topics I thought were interesting and worth noting. But as always, if you enjoyed the video and want to help support the channel, then a like rating down below would always be much appreciated. I made a video yesterday talking about SIVA inside Destiny 2, everything we know about it, and also some pretty interesting story secrets you may not know. So definitely worth a watch. You can click the image on screen right now to be taken to it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.